we are here today to remind you that we deeply respect what you have done and what you continue to do for our school and country. Thank you for your service. We are truly honored. Today, we gather here with deep gratitude and reverence as we unveil this beautiful honor wall dedicated to the heroes of LaSalle College Preparatory, who has selflessly served our nation. Now, and for years to come, all students, faculty, staff, and visitors will pass by the Duffy Lewis Gymnasium and be reminded that the military heroes of LaSalle are always remembered, never forgotten. Many times in our lives, we take for granted what it means to truly serve our nation and protect the freedoms we all enjoy. The heroes shown on this beautiful flag behind me represent why we are all here today and our desire to honor them with every opportunity we can afford. Every name on this honor wall has selflessly served or continues to serve with a profound sense of duty and a distinct desire to protect the freedoms and values we all hold dear. They sacrifice personal comforts, risk their lives, and endure hardships, all for the greater good of each of us, and the United States of America and its fellow citizens. Their dedication stems from a deep-seated belief in defending liberty and upholding justice. Despite their challenges, these amazing veterans, shown behind me, are the real heroes in our society today. They are leaders who have created a safer, more secure world for future generations and leaders, who quietly work daily to serve others. Their commitment, re commitment reflects a rare, admirable blend of selflessness, courage, and unwavering patriotism. As an Eagle Scout, I am dedicated to honoring and serving my country and community. Please allow me to digress for a moment and describe a defining moment in my life that has changed my outlook on selfless service and, quite frankly, why I am standing in front of you today. Not long ago, while escaping the blistering heat of a humid 100 degree July, after night, July afternoon along the Potomac River, my family and I sat in an air-conditioned theater at Mount Vernon to watch a movie about the heroes of the Revolutionary War. My heart was already filled with patriotic pride from our time touring the United States Capitol. As the lights in the theater dimmed, the scene portrayed a harsh winter landscape covered in ice and snow, with men in tattered uniforms facing freezing temperatures and unimaginable circumstances. These men were hunched around a fire, talking about the struggles not brought on by the harsh winter or the enemy, but of the need to survive and defend the United States of America. To this day, that experience taught me that the challenges I may have to experience in my daily life would never live up to the high standards that these brave warriors had to come overcome. Many in this audience have displayed courage like this. Each of you and your love for the country has given students like me the courage, hope, and discipline to serve those in need with the LaSalle spirit to never give up. Today, I stand on your shoulders and view my future through your lens of self-sacrifice, embodying the willingness to give up personal comforts for freedom and a greater mission of service to others. Many of us will never fully understand the tremendous sacrifices that these exceptional men and women have faced. In dedicating this wall of honor, we hope to inspire the hearts and minds of all who pass by this space and gaze at this beautiful flag with gratitude and appreciation for the bravery and sacrifice represented in each of these stars and stripes. Last summer, I had the honor of being a part of the Student Leadership Program at the Ronald Reagan Presidential Foundation and Institute. The program teaches students about Ronald Reagan's life and calls every attendee to service and national pride. We were challenged to create a leadership action plan to lift up our community. My action plan was to develop an honor wall with a beautiful flag of mil for military heroes who have inspired me. I was able to describe my dream of building an honor wall to my school president, Mr. Perry Martin, who supported my dream and worked collaboratively with me every step of the way to make this happen. President Martin is a senior captain in the Civil Air Patrol with accommodations as a leader in aerospace education. He shared my passion for community service, especially honoring military families. He so graciously has supported me and my love for this project. It's a special moment when a school leader shows such followership to a student's dream, especially as large as this dream. President Martin, thank you so much for sharing this dream with me and making this all come true. Ambassador Cohors, thank you for your service, for being here today to support me and your fellow veterans 
and for your extreme generosity in supporting the beautiful colors of courage on our wall. God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. Thank you all. We're here today to gather around this wall of honor to reflect on the fundamental aspects of really our national identity. We have the honor of respecting the life and the death of five fallen soldiers sitting behind me. Um, and these are reserved seats of honor uh, directly that you are looking at. We honor all of the courageous men and women who have fought and served tirelessly to protect the United States of America at home and abroad. This honor wall behind me will now and always, and I say always, stand as a reminder of our dedicated alums who responded to a higher calling of serving others before themselves. These sacrifices made by the departed heroes, veterans, and active service men and women have cultivated a profound sense of pride, gratitude, and respect for all of us. This group of remarkable alums have allowed us to stand on their shoulders to see the world differently, knowing that freedom is really never free and that the freedom that they defend for you and me makes the United States of America such an extraordinary place to live in the world. These brave men and women have endured unimaginable hardships and continue to, even those who succumb to sacrifice and death. They have also done so in quiet humility in their hearts and minds for the greater good of our American ideals even when the world may have forgotten their sacrifices. So today, and moving forward, these brave alums will never be forgotten, and their stories were for, will forever be told. We all agree that freedom is more than just a word. It is an action. The actions of achieving freedom in our constant vigilance, unwavering determination, and willingness to defend America and its ideals at all costs and in all ways. Ladies and gentlemen, freedom requires not just words, but deeds. All these extraordinary people on the Colors of Courage honor wall embody the faithful actions of leadership and followership, extreme courage and selflessness with actions of freedom. All of the alums on this wall and all veterans and active military personnel sitting among us shine as beacons of light for us, illuminating the path of others towards what it means to be an American and a mentor for future generations to follow. This honor wall will forever be a school and community reminder that we never take freedom for granted. Here at LaSalle College Preparatory, the colors of courage, and I'll say this again, the colors of courage are undoubtedly red, white, and blue and they will continue to fly in the hearts and in the minds of our students and employees from sea to shining sea. So today, we preserve the memory of our alumni veterans who have safeguarded our school, community, and our country. Their brave deeds from the battlefields to the home front have shaped the course of LaSalle College Preparatory and our nation's history. We want to ensure that the future LaSallean generations and all passing by this honor wall will someday sit right here where you're sitting. Gaze where you're gazing up at this amazing honor wall and respect these extraordinary alumni and Americans. And we want them to know that their sacrifice is in the holy presence of God as shown on the wall in front of you. In the coming months, we will garner the personal stories of each of these names on this honor wall and place a plaque where a QR code will give the details and history of each unique person. It will be a history library for all to read and enjoy. I also intend to use the new Colors of Courage honor wall to share the powerful experiences of inspiration to every student and employee so that collectively we can better understand and appreciate the unwavering courage and patriotism and selflessness exemplifies the very best of our school history and humanity at large. So in closing, 
I ask that all of us continue to practice democracy in the face of many uncertain current and future challenges. I encourage us to understand better diplomacy, conflict resolution, and the importance of international cooperation in maintaining global peace. Together, let us follow those engraved on this wall and engrave their message in our hearts and our minds so that we too can step up and learn, serve, and lead with regards to the complexities of our modern world through the freedom that we have inherited. I know that I speak on behalf of the Board of Trustees and the Board of Regents when I say this, it's imperative to educate our Lasallian youth to remember, to remember those who have fought for and who have protected our freedoms. Our duty to these alum heroes is born of gratitude and responsibility rooted in preserving LaSalle College preparatory history and an investment in inspiring future generations. This ceremony is officially concluded. Thank you and may God bless America and give us a special blessing on this day and may God bless you all. Thank you for coming.